<laughs> Today is our 20th lesson. Yeah, so on the 20th lesson, we are going to have a serious argument in a domestic situation. Okay, and you're going to translate this for me one by one. We're going to do one line each. So, let's have Jasmine. <coughs> Fatima says, where are you? I want to go now, so we are not late for the flight. Aina and Fenza. Good. Um, we'll just write it on the board as you translate. Aina. Aina Anza. Okay, I want to. Uri. Good. Uridu. Uridu. Al-Adam. Uridu. Al-Adam. And. Al-Haba. Al-Haba. Good. Al-Haba. Good. The and makes the Al-Habu into Al-Haba. Al-Ana. Yeah. There is another way to say I want to go now without using an and a verb. What's the word for going? Al Dahaba. Good. So she could say Uridu. Al Dahaba. Al Ana. Good. I want to go now. So we are not late for the flight. What's the word for so, Jasmine? Fa. Fa. And then. Um, we want to say we are not. Oh, um, so, so, so we will not be. What's the word we will be? To, the verb to be. What's the word to say we will be? Kana, right? But we will be is? No, no, just we will be. I don't want to negate it now. Just we will be. Nakono. So, and then negate the nakono with the? Ala. So, fala. Yeah, so I need you to apply what you know. You know this. Fala, naku, fala nakunu. So that we will not be late. Muta akhi is plural, so we we will not be late. La nakunu muta akhi rina. Muntaz. La nakunu muta akhi rina. Muta akhi. Rina. So we will not be late. Okay, now the word for flight is the same word for trip. Rihala. Good. Rihla. So that we will not be late for the flight. You see? Now look at that, see how easy it is. So we will not be late for the Right now, Rashida. Um, you know, in the translation, it says, so we are not, so can we use less than? Um, okay, but we are not would mean we are not now. The translation, the, the meaning of this, so that we are not late for the flight, as in we will not be late for the flight. As the translator, you need to interpret <coughs> whether that's in the future or the present. Even though in English it, means it says we are not late for the flight, because I'm saying so that we are not late for the flight, it's the future. You see? So you realize from that that you need to use a future uh, tense in Arabic. So it'd be incorrect to use lesna. Mm. Because if we say lesna mutaakhirina, that means we are not late now. Okay. Yeah. But she could you could say now. So we are not late now. Why are you fretting? Yeah. Okay. Um, Fahira. Abdullah says, if Allah wills, we will not be late. Inshallah. Good. What's the ending? Give me the ending. Insha Allah, who we will not be late. Is it Nahnu Len? Okay, Len. You don't need to say the Len. You don't need to say the Nahnu, do you? Okay. Just say Len. Nakunu. Len. What does Len do to the Nakunu? Nakuna. Good. Len Nakuna. Akhirina. Again. Uh, if I ask you to say something again, don't doubt yourself. Yeah, just because somebody questions you, don't think you're wrong. Okay. This is the lesson of life. <laughs> somebody says, say it again, you think, oh, I'm going to change it. <laughs> Students often do that. They say something right, I say, say it again, and then they change it, which means they don't have confidence in themselves. If you think it's right, say it again. Len nakuna muta. Good. Okay, this is a man who's always optimistic. We're not going to be late, stop worrying. Yep. 
mutaakhirin and Fatima says that's amazing um Tahira. Yeah, if she's being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, Arabic doesn't have punctuation, but sometimes we can throw a few in. Dalika <laughs> Abimun. You are not ready. Lasta Jahiza. Lasta good. Lasta Jahi. Jahizan. You are not ready. I know you. I know you very well. Okay, Arafta is what I would say to Sajad. You know. I would say I know. Arifu. You. Arifu. Arifu. Good. Okay. Now she could use a perfect verb to emphasize how well she knows him. Instead of saying Arifu, she could say. Araftuka. I know you. I, I do indeed know you. I knew you and I know you now. Okay. The perfect verb indicates completion. So she could say, أَعْرِفُكَ Or indeed she could say, أَعْرَفْ أَعْرَفْتُكَ Well. Well first. What's the word for well? جَيِّ Then. جِدْ Then. Good. Uh, usually it goes after. Jaydan, Jiddan. Well done. Right, let's have Samiha. I am ready now, and I. So Abdullah is now um, trying to reassure her. I am ready now, and I will not be late. When he says, Anna. Jahizun. Yeah, this is what a man says. He's still wearing the pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. Anna yeah. Jahizun. <laughs> Al, al -ana. I'm ready now and I will not be late. Walan akuna mutaakhir. Walan akuna muta. Walan akuna muta. Let's have, let's go back to the beginning, let's have Shabir. Fatima, she's now saying, You are not ready. Walakin. Uh, Okay, it's going to start with a walakin. Uh, but you are not ready. So you say lasta. Lasta, good. Lasta. Lasta. Jahizan. Excellent. Yeah, very good use of later and uh, or later so far. Yeah. Lasta jahizan. Do you think I am a little girl? Hal hasibta, yeah, and then remember we said the two objects of hasiba are are like the subject and predicate of a noun sentence. So how do you say I am a little girl? I am a girl. Anna. Anna bintun. Yeah, but when the first Anna becomes the object of hasiba, can you use a detached noun pronoun? Can you say hal hasibta Anna bintun? What do you have to do to the Anna? You have to turn it into the Ni, good. Yeah, turn it into the pronoun that attaches to the verb. Because it's the first object of the verb now. Hal hasibtani bin. Finish it. Bin tan. Because now it's two objects of hasib. Remember, hasib has two objects. Hal hasibtani bin tan. Hal. Hasibtani. Remember to put the alif in with the bin tan. Now, a small girl, a little girl. What's the word for small? Sari. Sari. Good. Sari ra tan. Yeah. Hal hasib tani. Now she's used a perfect verb to emphasize. Huh? Sorry, what bin tan? Because. When I consider something to be something, mm. that the verb consider has two objects. Yeah. I consider the cheese excellent. Mm. Yeah. So the, the word for cheese and the word for excellent are both objects of my, of my consideration. Mm. Yeah. So those verbs have two objects. Yeah. And if you take the verb away, 
the two objects would be a subject and a predicate in a noun sentence. Remember that? Yeah? So she says, هَلْ حَسِبْتَنِي بِنْتًا صَغِيرَةً Now, she uses a perfect verb. She's saying, did you consider me? I try to emphasize the fact of how complete his false consideration is in his mind. You see? But she could use an imperfect verb. Well, how would you say in the imperfect? Yeah. Huh? So it's hasiba yahsibu, isn't it? So hal tahsibuni. That's what she would say. So she could say, instead of hasibtani, she could say, tahsibuni. Hal tahsibuni bintan sagiratan. You can take a pick of that. We'll now take it off the board. You finish it? Mm -hmm. We've only done like one quarter of it. So that's just part one. Okay.